Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is day three for our Shark Week celebration and I'm so excited because we are making cauliflower wings with a bite. Get it? Um, so I'm going to show you how to make cauliflower wings instead of like a chicken wing. Um, these are seriously such a favorite in our house and they're so easy to make, super quick, and the ingredients are whole food, plant-based compliance, which is wonderful. If you're looking to change up what you're eating or impress some family members who want to eat more whole food, plant-based, this is the recipe. So what you're gonna need is one head of cauliflower, chopped up to be your size of wing. Um, so I just try to make them wing size. However, you can make them smaller or larger depending on what you like. Um, you're gonna need a unsweetened nut milk. I'm using this um, unsweetened cashew milk plain. Uh, I really like this this brand and the ingredients are pretty good. There is um, not that many ingredients which if I'm gonna buy a milk I like this one. I also buy an unsweetened soy milk I really like um, which I have behind me. You could use either of them, um, but this is another really great whole food plant-based option. If you are not gonna make your plant milk yourself, of course you can make it yourself. If you make it yourself, you get a gold star. <laughs> um, but you're also gonna need breadcrumbs. So you need um, two cups of the nut milk, one large cauliflower. You need two cups of our whole wheat breadcrumbs. I get mine from the 365, um, brand from Whole Foods. Again, you can make your own, but the only things in here are whole wheat flour and yeast. So this is what I do. It's very convenient. You're also going to need one cup of flour. So for our flour today, I just did an oat flour. So you can just pulse up um, oats in your blender and it will make a flour. So you can use any flour that you have is fine. I like oat flour. I'm trying to still make it whole food plant based. Um, but you could use whatever you whatever you like. And then you're gonna need a hot sauce. So this is, what I'm doing today is like where the flashers go up and say, not really compliant, but easy. <laughs> um, Dr. Gregor in the How Not To Die Cookbook has an excellent hot sauce. I did not have any on hand, I didn't make it. So, and for part two of this video, I needed like lots of different temperatures of hot sauce and different kinds. Um, so I did buy them. Now these, all of these, I have five hot sauces here. These are all vegan, um, but they are not like um, oil free. They might have sodium in it. Um, we're just using a little tiny bit of hot sauce to coat them at the end. So personally, every once in a while, I'm okay with that. But again, you can make your own from the How Not To Die cookbook and then this would be 100% compliant. Um, we're just doing a fun video for part two that I went to have a couple different brands and types. So it's completely up to you at this point. You could stop the video, pull out your How Not To Die cookbook, make that hot sauce, and then continue on. <laughs> Um, so what you're going to do first is you're going to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. You can bake these or air fry them. I'm going to air fry them today. If you're going to do it in an oven, it needs to be 400 degrees. If you're going to air fry, it needs to be 350. So you can go do that now and then come back and we'll start. So what I'm going to do is you're making kind of stations to dip your cauliflower wings into. So we're going to move the hot sauce away for a minute. We don't need that until the second time we bake or air fry our wings. So I'm just gonna put those over there, make some room. Also don't need this anymore, or our milk. Okay. You're gonna take your flour and your nut milk and you're slowly gonna combine it and whisk together so it makes more of a pancake batter. You want there not to be any lumps. And then you're just gonna place your breadcrumbs to the side to wait, so then we're gonna make a dipping station. But I am gonna bring out my air fry basket. And I just lined it with a parchment paper because these do get, they are a little bit messy. So if you're making them in the oven or an air fryer, you might wanna use parchment paper. So I'm gonna mix my nut milk and my oat flour. I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time. And if you notice it's too runny, you can always um, you can always add more flour, or if you because every 
nut milk that you use is going to be a little bit different but you want it to be kind of like a pancakes consistency so i just kind of if i didn't use it all i put it on the side so i don't know if i'm going to use anymore i think it kind of is giving me that pancake so i might so i only used one cup of it i'm going to place it on the side i do have another cauliflower head in there i might make a double batch so i'm just going to save that last cup for it so it was one cup um oat flour for me and one cup of the cashew unsweetened nut milk but again kind of eyeball it I just add a little you want it to be just like pancake batter so a little thick not too runny this looks pretty perfect and you want to try to get out any clumps okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on the side Let's put this over here And what now we're gonna do is we're, we made kind of like a dredging station. So I'm gonna remove my wedding rings, roll up your sleeves, and you're gonna take your cauliflower wing. You're gonna put it into the wet. You can use a fork if you want. I don't mind using my hands. You're gonna let drip off any of that extra batter, and then it's gonna go into the breadcrumbs. And you want to coat it pretty nice with the breadcrumbs, and then it's gonna go onto your sheet. And this is step one. There's two steps of baking these, but it's really relatively easy. So I'm gonna go finish off mine, and I'll show you guys what it looks like before I put it in the oven. Wait, do you guys see how good these wings look? Like, amazing. Once you have your wings all breaded and ready to go, it's gonna go into the air fry for 10 minutes at 350, or if you're doing it in the oven, it's gonna be 10 minutes at 400. Don't they look good? Yum. Our cauliflower wings just came out of the oven and now what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your cauliflower wing, dip it into whatever hot sauce you'd like, put it back on and it'll either be air fried for 10 more minutes or baked for 10 more minutes at the same temperature and then it's finished. So what we're gonna do next for part two of this video, which you will see on day four, is my husband's gonna do a challenge with me and if you've seen the video um, on YouTube, series called Hot Ones, or um, I think it's from the channel First We Feast. Um, they do a hot wing challenge, and Natalie Portman did one with vegan wings, so that's why I decided to do my own, because again, this ties into Shark Week because it has a bite. So um, I went to my grocery store, picked five different hot sauces that are all vegan. Make sure that you check the ingredients because a lot of them had butter in them, um, but these are all vegan, and I'm going to have us do a little challenge in the next video so you can make your own hot sauce like i said the how not to cookbook has a really good one from dr Greger. i would suggest if you're gonna like take these to a party to do that don't take like a super crazy hot um hot sauce make something a little bit more palatable for everyone but since we're doing a challenge i'm gonna do this so you're gonna take your cauliflower wing you're gonna put it into your hot sauce and then you're gonna put it back on the parchment paper. So once you're done, once it's totally coated, you just wanna put it back on the parchment paper and then it's ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna coat most of them in one of our favorite, favorite hot sauces. This is just like a regular hot sauce. It's not like super overwhelming. So I'm just gonna coat them in this. And then I'm just gonna do a couple of them so we each have one of each of these. So um, go ahead and coat yours now. And uh, when you're all finished, put it back in the oven for 10 minutes and then your final product is ready to go. But these make such a nice crunchy wing. And like I said, we are, um, we're from Pittsburgh. So like Steeler parties are a real thing in this area. So these are perfect to bring to like the football games that are be coming up in the fall or just to a party or if you just like love wings, um, you're gonna wanna make these. So these are about to go into the oven for 10 more minutes to our air fryer. But look at all the different colors and don't they look good? And that one right there makes me a little nervous. <laughs> but 10 more minutes in our air fryer or you could do the oven and these guys are ready to eat. The buffalo wings just came out of the oven and they smell so amazing. Look at all the different colors from all the hot sauce. This one makes me a little nervous because you can see the pepper seeds 
in the in the actual hot sauce so I'm a little nervous to try that one but you're gonna have to tune in for day four of shark week to see which one of these has a bite and um, the video with my husband so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any content we have so many cool things planned for the end of summer and the fall and you don't want to miss our shark week marathon um, and make sure you like this video and I will see you guys in the next one bye